ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Finn, or yet another gaming fail, and today we're here with another DCS Mission Editor tutorial. Now, this one uh, was sent in by a viewer uh, by the name of Video Game Viewer. Uh, this was sent in on the 6th of May uh, 2022, so I do apologise in the time that it's taken to get back to you, my friend. Um, obviously, hopefully in future I can be a bit speedier. Uh, I've had a few delays, uh, but hopefully we'll be here uh, and we've got some good content lined up. Now, what are we going to be doing? Well, the idea is we want to have it so that uh, once uh, the player aircraft has taken out a few enemy units, uh, that it might activate a, uh, a condition. Um, so what we're going to do, just to keep it ni nice and simple here, uh, is we're just going to start by placing down a target unit. So let's just zoom in. I've, <laughs> I've been practicing on an area so that I know that I'll definitely hit the target. Um, so what I'll do, I'm just going to come over here and plonk a unit down here. Uh, we're going to call this one target, like that, and then we're going to come down here and name the unit name target, like that. Cool. So we've got one, and then we're just going to do a second one. We're going to have target two there, and we're just going to drag them so that they're just a little way apart, just like this. Okay. So now what we've got is a vehicle uh, who is called target, and then a second friend called target two um, and then they're in a group called target pretty simple right so what we're gonna do we're just gonna copy him we're gonna paste him over here in Mora and then place them on road and then just place a, uh, a waypoint down here uh, and then put them on late activation so uh, if you don't know how to do that I've got plenty of earlier videos on it but just a quick recap you come down to the waypoint actions here you switch your type to be on road you hit add you place a second one and it should make sure that uh, both your uh, waypoints are on the road uh, and then obviously we've we've uh, we've hit late activation, which is just this tick box up here. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to place in an aircraft for us to use for the purposes of this mission. Uh, I'm just going to place it about here, give us a couple of miles to work with, uh, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll set us to be an American. We'll do close air support and keep us as a FA-18 like this. Um, then we'll just quickly switch to AGL. I'm just basically setting this up so that it's a bit easier for me to control this one uh, like this and then we're just going to give myself a loadout uh, where we're going to have the infrared versions of the uh, Mavericks available to us. Um, that's all I want here. There we go. Good stuff. So that's pretty much us there. I'm just going to add a waypoint in basically on the uh, the target units here so it's a bit easier for me to uh, to to know which direction I'm flying in so basically what we've set up so far is kind of your typical mission right you've got your target units set up here and then you've got a QRF here this QRF is set to late activation as we mentioned so this means that the QRF will not immediately spawn now what you would want to do is have once maybe one or two of your units have been destroyed, activate this QRF so that it's going to come driving into your uh, your area of operations. Um, the problem is is that um, the default way of doing it and the slow way of doing it, if I just get rid of my old work here, uh, is to create a trigger and then let's just call this one uh, example like this, uh, is to do um, you know new uh, new co uh, new condition here. And then you would do unit dead, um, so that's just to check whether a unit has died. Uh, and again, we've got target, and then we've got target two. So the problem is, is that at the moment, if we have unit dead for target and target two, this is going to wait until both of these guys are dead. Now, if you only wanted to have the, have it be one, you could get rid of target two and have it just be target. Now the problem with that is, is that if players destroy target 2 first, it's not going to trigger this condition, because it's only looking for if target is dead. Now, the alternative is then, you could then clone this a whole bunch of times, and then you've got OR. So you can put OR in here, and this is going to check for, so if, so it, it has to make sure that target is dead, OR, and then we can come down here and say target 2 is dead, which is okay, that's better. But once you get into multiples of things, once you get into more units, so let's have we let's say we have a target three and a target four, then you have to start creating combinations of them. You can't just have target one dead or target two dead, because let's say if you had four units and you wanted to make sure that half of them were dead, 
um, then you would have to have target one and target two or target one and target three or target one and target four if you understand how that's going that would be very very complicated so what we're going to do we're going to completely bypass that and the thing we're going to use in lieu of that is the scores menu over here on the left hand side so under mission you've got the scores and under mission goals here we're just going to hit new now a thing to note if you are playing multiplayer or you intend to make this mission available on multiplayer uh, you'll need to make sure that your score is affecting one of the multiplayer uh, allegiances i.e. I, red 4, blue 4 or neutrals uh, since we're playing single player and this is only for single player in this case we'll select offline if you were to play if you were to select multiplayer uh, during offline it won't work likewise if you were to select offline for a multiplayer mission it also won't work so make sure that you've got this set to whichever uh, version of the mission you want to play so in this case we're going to do offline we're going to leave the score on 100 and we'll just give it an arbitrary name like target down like that there you are so now conditions uh, well we want to just say that one of these units is dead um, so let's come in here and we'll just say uh, unit dead like that and uh, target and I think that works pretty well now you've got as long as um, one as long as target is dead that will add a hundred points now uh, if you wanted to add another unit in we can just clone this uh, and then switch this one from target one to target two and now uh, we can just you know obviously for for the sake of keeping it easy we can then rename this one target two down uh, but you can see that for all intents and purposes either way if you destroy one of these vehicles it's going to add a hundred points um, so you can also change this number, we could have it be 10, we could have it be 5, we could have it be a million. Um, but for all intents and purposes here, uh, we're just going to have it so that once target 1 is down, then, uh, you know, like it will activate a thing, or target 2 is down, it can activate a thing. So let's see how we can action that. So the next thing is, we know that if you destroy one vehicle, you get 100 points. If you destroy two vehicles, you get 200 points. You can do the maths there. Um, so we're going to come into our triggers here, which is just above the mission goals. We're going to hit new, and we're just going to do scoring like that. Again, the naming doesn't matter. I'm just picking scoring because it's uh, you know a pretty accurate description of it. When I come to conditions here, then rather than going to unit dead, we're going to actually scroll down a little, uh, up a little bit further even, and go mission score higher than. Uh, we're going to go to blue, and we're going to go to uh, 50 for the, for the second, let's say. Um, all it's checking is that the score for uh, one, of our, um, one of our coalitions is higher than 50. Obviously, as we're doing single player, we're going to set it to offline. So what that means is, once one of these vehicles is destroyed, it's going to give us 100 points. Nice and simple, right? Um, obviously, that is going to be more than 50 points. So in that case, it's going to activate whatever is in the actions tab here under the trigger. So I'm just going to come here, hit new, uh, and then we can just do uh, group activate. Uh, here we are, group activate. Uh, and then it's going to be target dash one. Uh, this is our QRF lads over here. And just to prove that to you, I'm just going to rename their group to be QRF like that. And then we'll just uh, copy this and change that to be QRF in the uh, unit name as well. And there we are, all good. All right, so just to come back here, the group act activated is QRF, and just so that we know that it's worked, let's also do um, message to uh, message to all, and we just say the QRF has been called exclamation mark exclamation mark one exclamation mark for full boomer energy. Right, so just going to hit Control S to save that now. Um, so that's all good. So what we've got is we've got our, our aircraft. We've got our situation where if we take out one of these vehicles, it's going to give us a hundred points. And as long as we get more than 50 points, which we will do if we take out one of these vehicles, it should activate this QRF. So I'm just going to hit save and I'm going to hit fly here. And then we're just going to hit start. Um, I'm not going to be using uh, head tracking or um, VR or anything like that for the sake of this, uh, this explanation. Uh, we're just going to hit OK here. Uh, and that will uh, bring us into our aircraft. Going to hit fly. And then just for the sake of this, I'm just going to go into my Mavs. Here, hit in, air to ground. You can see I've got my labels on, which is just so that I am you know, I can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, and then I'm just going to pick target 2 to begin with. Uh, so I'm just going to slew over here to the right. And uh, I'm just going to uncage, like so. 
and then I'm just going to rifle off one of my Mavericks. So, uh, obviously you could do this with any weapon you like. Uh, I'm just going to hit F6 now to track the Maverick in. And what we should see is that after we take out one of these vehicles, uh, we will then be immediately met with a lovely message. There we are. And you can see the message up in the top right there to say the QRF has been called. So just to prove that that's been the case, I'm just going to hit F7. So this is uh, the guy, uh, this would be target one. I'm just going to hit it again. And you can see these guys have been spawned in. All right. So let's change that again then. Let's say that you want to have um, more units, uh, which is uh, perfectly fine. Uh, let's say you want to have destroyed both of these guys before you call in the QRF. Well, it's pretty simple. We're just going to come into scoring and we're just going to put that up to 150. Uh, so you can see that's, uh, well, uh, once this, uh, hang on, <laughs> mission score is higher than only caps out at 100. So let's say two for now. Um, and then what we'll just quickly do is we'll come over to our score here. Uh, we're just going to quickly hit uh, one on both of these. There you are. And so now you'll see that it gives one point for each of these. So uh, what we'll do, I'm just going to hit save now. So once the score is higher than, uh, can I put 1.5 like a boolean? No, just uh, let's set it to score is higher than 15. Okay. Bear with me while I'm just uh, troubleshooting this out. And then we'll just set it to be 10 on both of these. So if we destroy both of them, it should give us 20 points. If we only destroy one, it should give us 10. And as long as we get over 15, it will then activate our trigger condition now. So uh, what we'll do then, we'll just um, come back in here and we'll hit fly. And then just to prove that I'm not doing any kind of trickery here, I'm just going to quickly uh, hit pause break uh, once I've spawned in and hit F7. And basically you can see we've got uh, target 1 and target 2 like this. And then if I hit F7, it's just tabbing between them. There are no extra units. So I'm just going to come back to my aircraft, hit pause break again, air to ground mavericks, uh, make sure to select the correct um, display here. And then we're just going to zoom in on the mavericks. And we're just going to make sure that we uh, get one of these lads. We're going to rifle one off and then just going to make sure that we come in and get the second one. There we are, rifle two. And then we're just going to pull up and push away. And so you can see the first of our Mavericks coming in here now. And it's going to hit the guy. And nothing's happened yet. But our second one comes in. And now the QRF's been called. See that? There we are. So um, that is, if we just hit F7 again here, you can see these guys have spawned now. That is how to have it so that your um, your friendly units uh, will, um, or well, say your friendly units or your enemy units or whoever, uh, once you score a certain amount of points, you will then um, be able to call in um, a QRF or uh, any kind of reaction. You might be able to activate a SAM site or something like this. Uh, the world's your lobster. It, it, you've got millions of options now. Um, so anyway, I hope that that's been informative. Uh, I hope that's been useful to you guys. I hope you guys will put it into good use uh, for future videos. Uh, my name has been Finn, or yet another gaming fail. I thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.